Hi, new to Tally Autos here. I'm finally able to work on the GTA after what is nearly six months. Uh, last episode I did, I think I was changing the radiator because uh, when I bought it, it needed a new radiator. So I've changed the radiator, I've done all the welding on the underside and undercoated it. I didn't bother filming any of that. Um, so now I'm at the stage where I'm about to paint the front bumper once I finish prepping it. It is in primer now, it just needs a little bit more rubbing down. De-rust it, de-grease it, and uh, get a nice uh, counter paint and lacquer on there for it. Uh, but I have already recorded lots of the work in progress on the tailgate and on the front bumper, so I will include all those bits now, and I'll uh, join you at the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe if you like watching these alpha videos, and also give the video a like. And if for any reason you don't like the video, just tell me why. I don't mind that, and I can try and improve anything you say. So yeah, see you in the end of the video. The tailgate is pretty much prepped for uh, primer now. I just need to, uh, I've got a few little uh, holes in the, uh, the filler there which need sorting out. But other than that, that dent is now finally gone. I will insert um, a few bits and dabs of the video of the repair to it. But unfortunately, one of the videos I did pulling the main dent out has gone missing, unfortunately, because it has been that long since I filmed it. I think I actually started filming it towards the end of the summer when I actually pulled the initial dent out and first slabbed the, uh, the first lot of filler onto it. So I'm glad we're uh, nearly there with the tailgate. The front bumper, I have now repaired the crack at the bottom. It just needs a little bit more fettling and uh, prep the rest of the bumper. But you will see that in the video coming now, the repair that I've done to it. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And also, if this is the first time you're watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. I do all uh, Alfa Romeo uh, repair videos and projects. So uh, if that's what you're into, please give me a subscribe. And enjoy, and I'll speak to you later. To get rid of there and here um, you've got a nice line down here it's popped all popped out there that is all pretty smooth all the way along there so just a little bit of work to do here and um, we can slap some filler on it and start making it look uh, a lot better Next level. I think that is about as good as I'm going to get it. I could probably do a little bit more there, um, but I'm quite happy with that. So right, let's uh, slap a little bit of filler on there and give the rest of that panel a bit of a sand down as well, just to uh, make sure the filler gets good adhesion. Right, as you can see, there's a crack here. Somebody's attempted to repair it with some no more nails, um, but it hasn't worked. Right, what 
what I've ended up doing is, uh, because it was filled with filler this side, I have grinded all the filler out. I've drilled a hole here so uh, it, it doesn't crack anymore. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have some fiberglass and fiberglass it uh, together and then we'll have to put some filler on it. It's not the way I'd like to do it, but it's so expensive to get another bumper for these GTAs. I'm going to have to uh, make this bumper repair as uh, a little bit of a bodge, but um, it will still be good as long as I treat it gently. It, should, it shouldn't crack again. Uh, I've also keyed up this surface on the inside here so we can get a good bond. So uh, let's stick some uh, fiberglass and resin on there now and uh, let's see if we can get this uh, back together again. Okay, we'll let that dry for a while. I have managed to build up a little bit there. Let's just push that in a bit so I can get the filler in there. Um, so that will be a little bit stronger than filler. Let's try and make it a bit neater. Fiberglass is now all dry, so what we're going to do now is stick a little bit of filler on the other side of the bumper uh, so we can then get that uh, smoothed out and uh, all repaired. This repair is all, all nice and tight now. There's no uh, flex in there at all now. So you, well, I am going to need to be careful when we're driving against low curbs because we're not going to want to crack it again once it's been freshly painted. So uh, let's get some filler mixed up and get that done. Probably not going to repair that one because this is going to be bolted to the uh, the uh, front wing of the car anyway so that's not going to be uh, moving very much I do need to tidy this up a little bit here and put a bit more filler in there but other than that we're uh, we're nearly there with it
Right, what I've done is I accidentally got too much lacquer on there and it started to run. So what I'm hoping I'm doing, put some more lacquer on so the main part of the panel is still nice and smooth. Get all the drips to drip down there where it's going to be hidden. I can also uh, get a lot of those drips out once um, uh, it's dried by sanding it down. And also annoying really, I've got a drip there as well. Um, I should be able to sand that out there but I might try and chase it down a bit as well. Right, what I'm saying, is, what I was saying is before my phone started to ring was I've managed to get a couple of runs in the uh, the lacquer. So what I've done, I've put a thicker coat of lacquer on to chase the drips to the end of the panel. So hopefully, once it's all dried, I can just uh, sand those drips off, and the actual main part of the panel is okay. Let me show you what I've done. So you see what had happened? It had dripped all along there. So what I've done. I've just put loads more lacquer on to get it to the end of the panel and then you'll have drips at the end there which will be very easy to get rid of plus they're also uh, behind the bumper. Uh, the same here. See the drip there is totally gone now but I've managed to chase it all to the end there. And the, annoying, the other annoying thing is it's bloody dripped everywhere really so uh, I've got another one there I'm going to have to get rid of but uh, that uh, should be fairly simple to get rid of. Worst case is I've just got to re-lacquer that part of the panel once it's dried. So right, bumper's had a few hours to dry now. I've had a busy afternoon working on uh, customers' cars. Not entirely happy with the bumper, to be honest. It's a really good smooth finish uh, and there's not much dust in it. Um, I managed to chase out all the uh, drips there. You've managed to wipe away the excess lacquer there, so it's not that bad at all. Um, here, I've pretty much got away with it. There's just a little nip, nip bit to nib down there, and a little bit here to nib down, and maybe a tiny bit there. Um, but yeah, not happy with it um, because of the run which I've got on the side of the bumper here. It appears as though that I've not let the uh, the paint fully dry before I've lacquered it, and when I've lacquered it, some of the paint's run down with it. If it was just a case of the um, the lacquer um running that's fine i could have got rid of that but it looks as though the paint run with it as well which is a bit weird but uh that's the joys of uh, painting silver and this is only what the third time i've painted silver so i think that's a pretty good finish other than that but yeah mistakes happen so um i will be uh repainting this unfortunately so yeah unfortunately i'm gonna have to repaint that but as i've said in other videos i'm not a professional painter i am pretty much uh, self-taught with a few bits of uh advice off some professional painters so we'll call it that's it for this episode because i am uh, running out of time today it's uh, pitch black outside uh, and i need to get this uh, video edited and ready for you for tomorrow lunchtime so uh, i'm cutting it quite fine i don't want it my second video of the year to be late so uh, thanks for watching and i shall see you in the next episode